Hello everybody, welcome to the very first session on basic to advanced of Excel with ChatGPT. And we'll be starting the course by understanding the basics of how we can start learning about Excel or Sheets and practice different functions and formulas that everybody who is dealing with any kind of data will need whether they are working on Excel or with Sheets. So in this particular session, we'll be dealing with Google Sheets rather than Excel. Now, the reason that why we'll be dealing with Google Sheets is that Google Sheets is something that you can access from anywhere uh, on any device. All you need is just internet. And now Google also gives you the feature of accessing the Sheets offline as well. So that is one particular feature that makes Google Sheets a better choice over MS Excel. The second is that Google Sheets is very easily shareable through email. And apart from that, MS Excel, to access the entire version of Excel, you need the paid version of MS Office, which many of us do not have. But Google Sheets is absolutely free of cost. All you need to do is have an email address on Google or Gmail. So let us begin by understanding that how do we use Sheets? So all you need to do is, as you can see on my screen, I have opened Google. You just need to click on these nine dots that you have over here and you click on Sheets as you can see. Once I click on Sheets, my Google Sheets gets opened. I just have to verify my email ID, right? And then I can access as many Sheets as I want free of cost, right? So this is not the email ID that I'm using. So I'll be using my email address that is pritesh.joshi at learnbay.com and it's already logged in. So you can see over here you have got the Google Sheets. You can use as many of them as possible. And this is a blank sheet that I've opened. Now this sheet gives me unlimited access to all the functions that I can do in Excel as well. And the benefit is that it is uh, free. You do not need a paid version of Google to use the sheets. To share the sheets, you just need to click on share and enter the email address of the person with whom you want to share and the data can be shared by as many people as you want, right? Now to begin with, in today's session particularly, we'll be dealing with these three topics that is sum if, profits and the if function, okay? So as we move ahead in the course, I'll be telling you that how does all this work? So I've just got few sample data sets with me right and as you can see over here i have got fruits and their quantity so i have got 43 apples 87 bananas 24 mangoes and 59 pineapples now how do i add all of this how do i add all of this so let me try whatever i know about excel without using chat gpt so i've just selected 43 and i will just drag it down and if you see everything becomes 43 which is again wrong right because what i need is a sum of all so let me try one more thing with the help of shift and the lower arrow i will select all of them and then i select the last one and that is how what i have got over here is i think the average again which is not what i require what i require is the sum of all of it now the basics we all have learned but as this session is all about integrating chat gpt with your data sets on the sheet let me see how can chat gpt help me to achieve this so all i need to do is just open chat gpt i just put chat gpt in my url the first very link i open and i click on try chat gpt and as you can see, my chat GPT is all ready to help me. Now here, I would like to draw your attention before we start is that, you know, chat GPT is an open AI. It is absolutely free of cost. And it is very important that you know how to use chat GPT. Writing prompts in chat GPT is again something that we all need to understand and learn. The more clearer, the more uh, precise you are, the correct 
answer is what you can expect from ChatGPT. But before we start using ChatGPT for our functions in Excel, there is one very, very important disclaimer that I would like to give you. And that is never trust the responses given by ChatGPT to be 100% right. There might be times when ChatGPT is not at its best, right? So that is why you need to be careful on trusting the responses given by ChatGPT. So now what I'll do is I'll just write on ChatGPT that write a function for sheets that will give me the sum of my quantities. Okay. So I have just written this to ChatGPT. I have very clearly given that what I want. And now ChatGPT is telling me what you can do. Okay. Now ChatGPT is telling me that, you know, open Google Sheets, click on extension, add script, and that is how you can get. Okay. Now, this is another code also it has helped me with. Now that might be because ChatGPT is using the previous, you know, the previous uh, whatever data has been fed into it, it is working on the same lines. And here they have given me a formula that you can just go in a cell and you can use this formula, right? When you can replace A1 is to A10, right? You can see over here, replace A1 is to A10 with A1 is to A10 with the range of cells that you want to sum, okay? So this quantities word that they have given us, that can be used if and only if over here, my word is quantities. Okay. So what I'll do is I just copy this function over here. Right. I will just copy this function in my cell where I need the sum. I just copy here. I'll paste. Okay. And when I click on enter, I don't get anything. I don't get the response that I'm looking for. Why? Because they have clearly told me that you need to replace A1 is to A10 with the quantity that you are looking at which is again D5 to D8, right? And where am I getting this number D5? So this number is mentioned over here. On whichever cell your cursor is, the address of that cell is mentioned in the left upper corner. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll go back to my formula and I'll see by putting here D5 is to D8 whether it works. So I just put I'll just use the same formula D5 is to D8 bracket close and still I have not got my answer. Now why I have not got my answer because quantities word is not mentioned in my data anywhere. So what I'll do is I'll just try to delete this quantities and then I'll see if I get my sum. That's it. So as you can see I've got my total as 213 which is the total of all the different numbers that are mentioned in the quantity column, right? So when you add 43 plus 87 plus 24 plus 59, the answer you get as 230, okay? To just get a simpler formula using ChatGPT, we'll try once again whether ChatGPT gives us a smaller and a simpler formula and we'll also see whether what we have used is something that chat GPT verifies. So let us try once again. We'll change the prompt a, uh, prompt a little. Write a function for or let us say formula. Write a formula to get the sum of numbers. Again, because we have used Google Sheets, it's using the same Google Sheets as the you know background or as the foundation and here you have got so type this formula so again why did we do this exercise why did i give two different prompts to chat gpt to show you people that how important it is to write the prompt correctly and precisely over here what i wrote was that write a function for sheets that will give me the sum of my quantities and here I wrote a simpler but a clear prompt that write a formula to get the sum of numbers. 
now you can even use the word function and you will get the similar response okay so that is how you get the sum now it's very important that we focus on writing our prompts very very efficiently because these prompts are only going to help us to get the correct formula okay now what i want is i want you people to create sample data from chat gpt and use this sum function as much as you can okay so that you get a pro at it what i'll do is i just click on new chat and i write over here what i exactly want so over here my aim is to get sample data so what i'll write is hi i am new to using google sheets i need sample data set to practice the sum function can you provide me the same okay so here i have told Ch chat gpt that i want to practice the function and there you go so chat gpt has given me data it has given me very similar to the data to what i was using that is fruits with quantity price and total price and also the chat gpt has told me how should i use see to sum the quantities to sum the prices and to sum the total price for everything it has given me the formula so what i'll do is first i just copy paste this entire data in my google sheets right and here i'll put my function as chat gpt has given me you can see over here and again you have to read the answer that chat gpt says because they have told example is cell b7 right so example the total you are taking in b7 only then you will get your answer as this now you are getting zero because your bt b2 to b6 your b2 is here b2 to b6 is this again which is nothing so if you want the answer over here of the quantity what you need to do is you need to replace b3 to b6 by g5 to g9 so let me try that i'll just click on i'll just click over here and replace it with g5 is to g9 and see if i get my answer yes i do the answer is 51 okay let me try if i can copy paste over here and get the similar response no yes if I click on enter, it selects the data above. The data above, why? Because again, this Google is quite smart. It knows that I'm looking for a similar function for the quantity. And that's why it is asking me that do you want the sum from H5 to H9? And that's why when I copy pasted the formula and pressed enter, it made an orange box on the quantities. And it is asking me, do you want it? And only if I press enter once more, it will give me the sum of the price per unit. Let me check. Yes, it has given me the answer as zero. Why it has given me the answer as zero? Because H5 is to H9, I have put. But then again, it has given me the answer is zero. Why is that? Let me try. Let me try writing H5 is to H9. Oh. The answer is again coming as zero. Just wait a minute. Okay. So there is some problem over here. What I'll do is I'll just type my function h5 is to h9. Okay. Let me see over here if the function works. Again, it is not working. Okay, so there might be some error over here, which we look at it. But then this is how you can use chat GPT to get the answer of different quantities, right? So now I before you know, we move ahead, I want you guys to practice as much data on some function as much as you can, you can ask chat GPT to provide you with the data set it will. And that is how you can practice it the more you practice the more you'll get it
that's all for now with the sum function we'll be moving ahead in the next video where we'll be discussing just like how we have discussed sum we will be discussing profits or the difference also you can say so i'll mark the status of this as done okay so see you in the next video where we'll be discussing profits or difference okay thank you so much keep practicing